Just a quick reminder, this blog update is best enjoyed with headphones on. One of the world's Michael and NNA Chief Editor into Civil Union News here. Coming in here with a channel update, giving you guys the inside scoop on what's going on in the channel in the next few months. Once again, I've yet to have any seizures, even during the anniversary of my accident. So there's no much point in supplying a health update, as the precautionary measures that I have taken has been proven effective. So on the review side of the channel, we are announcing a whole new theme, which will be running from this video being uploaded to YouTube to December 10th. So the theme is called Sci Fantasy Falls. Now this season of reviews is a mix of sci-fi and medieval fantasy games as we explore following magical kingdoms, galaxies, planets, embark on epic quests and destroy the forces of evil. Now the first review of this new season should be posted at some point this week coming. Oh, one more thing before I go. Now I have pre-ordered quite a few games on Steam and I'm hoping to post week one reviews of these games. Now these titles include, surprise that was absolutely no one, the newest 2D Sonic game, Sonic Superstars, which is going to be releasing on the 17th of October. That sound right there, it needs no introduction. Yes, it's the Metal Gear Solid Master Collection, which is a compilation of seven stealth action games. So we got the very first Metal Gear game, originally released in 1987. Its sequel, Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake, released in 1998, again for the MSX PC. An all-time classic which put the PlayStation 1 on the map, the original Metal Gear Solid, released for the PlayStation 1 in 1998. Now my review of the original Metal Gear Solid can be found in the video's description, so that way you can check this out for yourself. Anyway. The collection also has one of the most prolific games on the PlayStation 2's 4,000 strong game library, Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty, released exclusively for, well, for the PlayStation 2 in 2001, and its classic sequel, Road Metal Gear Solid 3 Sneak Eater, only saw that fateful year, 2004. Now, reviewing all these 7 of these games individually in one week, would seem a bit overkill and stupidity, especially with my epilepsy. So I'm going to take all these games in a public poll, and the top two games of this poll will get featured in two separate episodes of my newly released retro gaming series, Retro S. And the game with the most votes gets reviewed on its re release on the 27th of October. The poll will be open as soon as this video is uploaded to YouTube and will close on the 25th of September. So get voting everyone, the clock's ticking. Now with all these announcements on the review side of the channel aside, it is time for my little twin tilt co-pilot from Miami to give you guys an idea on what's going on in the Let's Play side of the channel. So Tails, over to you. Hey everyone, Miles Hills Power, Assistant Manager of DGR Plays here with the Let's Play update. Now our current playthrough of the original Half-Life is still ongoing. However, we are only a few parts away from going into the Zen chapters. However, in light of recent developments over the summer, we have decided to change our schedule slightly. Now, bearing in mind, the dates you see in this trailer are merely placeholders as they can change as our current project nearing com nears completion. Now with that in mind, take a look at this. Hold up a second, I know what you must be thinking. 
Half-Life Alex is a VR-only title. And since when did James have to find a way to cope with VR technology, especially his monocular vision and balance issues? Well, allow James to explain. Right okay during the summer, a mod surfaced which completely removed the VR requirements to play the game. Which, as you can tell, makes Half-Life Alex playable. Now, the mod itself completely converts the game to as it should have been when it launched back in 2020. Now, VR is an excellent way of truly immersing yourself into the gameplay, but it should be completely optional. We cannot ignore the experience which game in general was built on, as there are a lot of people in this community who cannot cope with playing games in VR. A controversial opinion we know, but it's the truth. So as soon as Half-Life is finished, James and I will be tacking Half-Life 2 Episode 2, then into Half-Life Alex with the non-VR mod. But fear not, Portal fans, Portal 2 might be become a Let's Play project in the future. Alrighty guys, this is more or less everything James and I want to cover, so we'll best to sign off. This is Miles Sales Power at Spark Commander 1990 setting off, and we will see you guys in the next review.